Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to give you an in-depth review of Oxygen OS 12.1 build number C.61 for the OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. You can see on my OnePlus 9 Pro that I have installed the latest version of Oxygen OS 12.1. If I go into the about info section, the build number is 3.61 and we still have the Android security patch of 5th May 2022. I mean we are half past July and we still don't have the July security patch. Now I have been using this build for about 2 weeks now and I will show you all the issues and problems that I face in this build. One of the new annoying bugs that I face is whenever you try to record a video with 4K 60fps or 8K 30fps, there is a lag and frame drop in the initial 5 seconds of the video. The frames just freeze for the initial 5 seconds. Also, this is not a viewfinder lag, the frame is actually freeze in the video recording. I mean video recording at 4K or 8K is just unusable for now, so I just hope OnePlus fixes this bug soon. Another bug related to camera that a lot of users were asking is when switching to wide angle mode the phone restart but that is not the case as you can see i can easily switch between ultra wide angle and other modes without any problems if you are facing any such issues try to clear data of the camera application or try to clean install the c.61 build on your oneplus 9 and 9 pro the version of the camera app is same as before and the picture quality is also same like before the camera outputs exactly same type of images on this build moving on to the battery drain battery drain has been very less on this build and i am getting almost 5 to 6 hours of screen on time on average without heavy gaming. The battery backup has been excellent honestly. I have not faced any battery issues as such and the same can be said about the charging speeds. My phone is able to charge from 1 to 100% in about 30 to 40 minutes which I think is fine. If you are facing any major battery drains or slow charging speeds, I will suggest you to do a clean install. The heating issues have also been reduced but for that the performance or speed of the device has also been slowed down than Oxygen OS 11. Some of the users also reported that after this update the Widevine L1 is L3 but that has not been the case with my device if i go into drm info you can see that the wideband status is l1 and that means i can stream hd content on amazon prime video or netflix the delayed notification issue which was available on previous builds has now been fixed and i've been receiving notification from all apps like gmail and telegram without any issues earlier i had to manually open the apps to get the notification but it is working fine for now finally let's talk about the gaming performance the gaming performance has been just mediocre you don't get 90 fps supports in games like bgmi and you don't even get consistent 60 fps while in a match the fps drops to 45 fps most of the time and i definitely don't recommend you to upgrade to oxygen os 12 if you plan on gaming just stay on oxygen os 11 or install a custom rom the gaming performance of Oxygen OS 11 was very very good as compared to Oxygen OS 12. So that's it for this one. That was a complete review of Oxygen OS 12.1 build number C.61 for the OnePlus 9 series devices. Comment down if you are facing any issues regarding this build. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.